Welcome to Mango Computer Tuition's video tip sheet on gathering, printing, and saving information from the internet. This tip sheet refers to, use, to Microsoft Word and Microsoft Internet Explorer, but it should work equally as well with any word processor or web browser that you choose to use. Now, here's the problem. You want to do some research on the internet, but whenever you try to print something out, you wind up printing five or six internet pages when you really only wanted one, or perhaps it, the information doesn't even print correctly. Uh, near the borders of the page, some words are chopped off. Using this method, you're going to be able to just copy from the internet the lines of information that you need. Then we're going to paste them in Microsoft Word and do your printing from there. This also allows you to gather information from many different sources on the internet and to put it in one spot so things are much more concise. Now the steps involved. First, open Microsoft Word. Now as soon as Microsoft Word opens, go to the control bar on the top and click the minimize. Now you'll notice the document is on the bottom here. So one click and it'll open it back up. But for right now, once again, you're just going to minimize it. Okay, next, open up Internet Explorer. Then go to Google to do a Google search on your subject. Okay, once Google opens up, type in the information you want to research. We're going to research beaches on Stradbroke Island. We'll just do a Google search on that. Okay, the Google opens up and we see some pages. We look at the titles. We review a little bit of the the information that's available and we decide this website might be good for us. We click on the website, we open the site and we take a look and we see okay it's telling us about the main beach, it's telling us a little bit about Cylinder Beach, it's telling us about uh, Edda Rock Beach. Okay pretty much we want just about all of this information. So first you're going to select the text in there so we just Click the mouse at the beginning of what you want and drag it to the end. Next click edit, then click copy, then open up your Word document by just clicking on the Word icon on the taskbar. Okay, Place the cursor where you want the information, click edit, click paste. Now it might take a while for the information to show up because it has to come from the internet. So just be patient. It could be a little bit longer than most copy and paste options. Okay, here it would be a good idea to hit the enter key a few times to space down so the next information that we save will be a little bit separated from that. Okay, then once again minimize Word. It will be back down on the taskbar. Hit the back button in your browser to bring you back to Google. And we'll take a look and see if there's something else that we want to look at here. Okay, always want to learn. So we just look at the titles. We look at some of the information that might be pre presented. And we'll click here. We'll open this web page. Okay, when the page opens up, we'll see if there's any information that we want there for our research. Okay, we want it right here. So same thing. We're going to select the text we want by clicking in the beginning of the text we want with the mouse, keeping the mouse button down, and drag it to the end of the information we want. We're then going to click Edit. We're going to click Copy. We're now going to, once again, open our Word document. We're going to place, make sure the cursor is where we want it. We're going to click Edit. We're going to click Paste again. Okay, we'll do one more go here. So we're going to minimize Word. We're going to go to our web browser. We're going to click the back button. It takes us back to the Google search. And we're going to see another page. Okay, this looks like it might have some information. So we're going to 
click on the link there. Okay, once the wedge web page opens, we're going to take a look down and see if there's any information we want. And yeah, here's a little bit that we can use. So we're going to select the text once again by clicking the mouse at the beginning of the text we want, holding the mouse down, mouse button down, and then dragging it to the end of the text. We're going to click Edit. We're going to click Copy. We're going to now open our Word document one more time. We're going to make sure the cursor is where we want the information. We're going to click Edit. We're going to click Paste. And after a while, the new information will be pasted in there. Okay, we're pretty much done with that for now, so it probably be what we want to do now is save it. So you save it the way you'd save a normal Word document file. Click File. We'll click Save. Okay, we'll save it in my documents. We'll call it Strati Info from Web. Click Save. Your document's now saved. You can safely, you could print the information out if you wanted, or you can just close the documents. You can close the internet, and you're done. Now, all the information you gathered is in one nice, easy place. Very really easy to open the document and print it. We certainly hope this has been informative for you, and we hope it makes your computing a little bit easier. If you'd like a written copy of this tip sheet, that you can follow along with, uh, please contact Mango Computer Tuition and uh, we can let you know the price of the tip sheet and make arrangements to get it to you. Thank you again.